Greetings from Theme Rex team. Today I'll show you how to translate or, in other words, localize your WordPress site. I'll use Query Theme. Few important things to understand. Your site page contains plenty of texts. Some of them are created by you, like post titles and post content, but other are produced by the theme and plugins. And that's where you need to localize texts. I'll show you how to do it correctly with Local Translate plugin. In your dashboard, navigate Plugins, Add New. Type in Local Translate. It's super user friendly. Click Install Now and then activate. It will appear in your left side menu. Let's open it. As you can see, it allows you to translate your active theme and all your plugins. If you go to a theme menu, you will see the list of all themes detected on your site. And correspondingly, in the Plugins menu, you will see all of your plugins. We will skip WordPress and Languages menu and open Settings. As you may have noticed, there are plenty of different settings, but the good news is that you can keep them default. In 99% of the cases, they are optimal. In the next step, you can add a translator credits. In the third tab, connect the services via API keys. And the last step will verify your plugins version. We have the latest one because we just installed it. So let's start localization. First, let's change the site's language. Navigate Settings, General. Here, you can go ahead and change the site language. I'll choose Spanish, Espanol. Then click Save Changes. Now let's go back to our page and refresh it. Some of the lines will be automatically updated by WordPress. The post's title and body can be translated by editing this post, but other parts must be localized through the Local Translate plugin. Navigate Dashboard, Local Translate, and Themes. Click on our active theme, query, and then create a new language. From the drop-down, choose the language, in our case it's Spanish, and then choose the location where the language files will be saved. I will keep the default location and click Start Translation. Now we are headed to a translation interface. You can type in the source text, for instance, leave a comment. And below you'll see all the lines that contains this text. Just click on one of them and provide the translation. Then save the changes. It will show you that the string is translated and will show the translation on the right side. Now let's return to the editor. You will see that the translation has been started and just 1% was actually translated. I'll refresh the page and scroll down. Great, leave a comment was successfully translated. Now let's translate the placeholder your comment. Type in your comment again, click on it and provide the translation. Click save the changes and update our page. Ok, it worked just fine. Now let's try to translate this string. Return to a local translate screen and insert it into the search. As you can see, there is no such string. That's because this text is produced by GDPR plugin, not by the theme. Therefore, let's go to the plugins menu and click on the GDPR plugin. Then click Edit Spanish language. It has exactly the same interface. Let's copy the string and paste it into the search field. OK, it's here. Let's translate it. Click on it, provide the translation and save. 
refresh the page. Good, this line is also localized successfully. Continue with the rest of your site. Now I'll explain how the plugin actually works. If you go to your site's file manager and navigate WP content, themes, your theme name, skins, choose your skin, and open a languages directory, you will see that the plugin created Spanish MO and PO files for your site. If you open a PO file, you will see that it consists on English and Spanish strings. You can even find those that we are just translated, like the leave a common string. And exactly the same case with plugins. If you go to plugins, GDPR, languages, you'll find a bunch of PO and MO files that the local translate plugin generated. Moreover, you don't even have to keep this plugin active on your site. When you are done with localization, you can simply deactivate and delete it. I'll show you. Navigate plugins and click deactivate local translate. Then I'll completely delete it from my site. And now if I go to my page and refresh it, the texts will be still there. That's because the PO and MO translation files are still there on my server. Hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon.